And we'll start with Chelsea and Manchester United. This one's taking place at Stamford Bridge. The Blues are even money favorites. Man United plus 260 on the road. The draw is plus 260. Uh, it won't really apply because these two teams the, the kind, of, kind of cancels each other out with these two teams. But we're at a part of the schedule where the fixtures are just piling up. The Premier League, UEFA, they're, they're just jamming in as many as they can. Uh, so this is, I think, Chelsea and United's sixth game since the beginning of October. Uh, could be sloppy. I think that helps the underdog just generally in, in these kind of situations, like no matter the sport, uh, you, you want more variance when you're the underdog. I actually like United here. Uh, I know uh, I've been all over the map with United. I was onto them early. Uh, I was fading them early out of the gates, got them in that win against Liverpool. And then I've been unsuccessfully fading them the past few weeks, but I mean, I've been unsuccessful fading any team the past few weeks. Um, they did look good against Tottenham. I think part of that was Tottenham making them look better by just playing bad, but, the defense is starting to trend in the right direction uh, with three decent performances against Everton, Newcastle, and now Spurs and Chelsea's just, they're due for some negative regression. We talked about uh, in the midweek show about how lucky they were to get a draw. I mean, to, excuse me, to get the win against Aston Villa. And then they were lucky today get the draw against Brentford. A minus 1.6 expected goal differential in those two games, four points out of it. That went a plus two actual goal differential. So I like the spot here on United. Yeah, I'm, I'll admit for the first time uh, watching United today, I was actually impressed. Like I thought Ten Hag is finally starting to implement what he was trying to do at Ajax, which is be very possession dominant, counter press and try to win the ball back in the final third, which Manchester United did a wonderful job of against Tottenham and Tottenham for whatever reason, just couldn't complete any passes going forward. Now we flip to this match. The question mark is, okay, Well, is United going to be able to be that type of possession dominant, live in Chelsea's final third, counter press them and go up against a team that is frankly looks like a better counter attacking team than Tottenham right now? I'm not so sure. Uh, I'm sure Potter's going to try to control possession here. Um, But like you mentioned, you know, last two matches defensively for Chelsea, I mean, they they've lost. They've allowed three point seven XG to Villa and Brentford. They've lost the expected goals battle in both those matches. Um, and stylistically, if United wants to set up, you know, how they've done against Liverpool and, and Arsenal when they were effective sitting deep and looking to counter, well, that's essentially what Villa and, and Brentford were able to do in the last two matches. And, you know, they weren't able to score, but they obviously created a ton of chances. And then you look at injuries, the injuries for Chelsea, you know, Wesley Fofana's out, Reese James is out, Thiago Silva didn't play today. We don't know if he's going to play on on Saturday, and Golo Conte is now out for four months. Connor Gallagher went off with an injury against Brentford. So the depth is really starting to come into question here for the Blues. And it's honestly the first time this year that I don't project uh, any value uh, fading Manchester United. I actually have Chelsea at minus 115 before accounting for all these injuries. So I am actually going to stay away from this one. You know, this is it's, it's interesting because you look at when these two teams met – at Stamford Bridge last season, it was when United had just fired uh, Old Dennis Solskjaer. Michael Carrick was in charge. Chelsea just lived inside United's final third. They dominated the entire match, and United had one breakaway, and they scored on it, and they won one nothing. Like, are they going to try to set up similar? I don't know. But, yeah, I, I think that the, the line is right here. So I'm, I'm going to pass on this one. 